it supposed to look like a banana? <laughs> Last week on the channel, you saw me test drive the car that is quite frankly at the top of my auto trader list at the moment, a generation one 955 Porsche Cayenne S. If you haven't seen the video, you should go and watch it now by clicking in the top right hand side of the screen. But I loved that car, long story short. However, it seems someone at Porsche has been watching my videos because they saw that video and said, you love the generation one KN so much, so surely you would absolutely love our latest offering in the KN department and the flagship. This today then, I have for you is the 156,000 pound KN Turbo GT in the coupe variant. This has over 600 horsepower, more like 640 to be exact. And if there's one thing that I've heard, well, there was three things actually, launch control, launch control and launch control launch control Terrifying. This car makes Usain Bolt look like DJ Khaled. It even makes that Audi R8 look a little bit like a Prius. Yet, it's an SUV. In fact, if the devil had children, this is the car that he'd be taking his kids to school in. So of course, this 2022 150 grand KN is a far cry from what we were looking at last week in that 2003 KNS. However, instantly you notice things that are exactly the same. We have the five Porsche dials as we looked at in last week's KN and most notably of all, the grab handles, they're still here, both in the front and in the back, which is exactly the same as the original 955 KN. I love that, they've, they've kept them. Of course, gone is all of the analog buttons now and we're greeted with this huge infotainment display, something I really wanted to like, but I just can't get on with these haptic touch buttons and screens. I just, maybe I haven't spent enough time with them, but just give me all those analog buttons. I love them. I really love them and prefer them. So you can tell it's a KN from in here, although some things they have removed, such as that beloved third visor. And in fact, we still just only have the one on each side here. That first gen KN had five altogether. This only has two, bit of a downgrade. Moreover, we still have an automatic gearbox, this one being an eight speed. We've moved on significantly from the world of six speeds these days and also from Tiptronic. Instead of the buttons on the wheel here, we now have these gorgeous, I have to say, really lovely, lovely paddles. And as terrifyingly demonstrated earlier, this is almost twice the power of that original KN we looked at. 640 of the powers to be precise and a top speed of near as makes no difference 190 miles per hour, 190 miles per hour in an SUV. And dare I say it, if it's true, that is an electronically limited top speed. God only knows how fast this would go without that limiter, probably more than 200. I'd love to try that. This car is like an IT consultant's Lamborghini Urus. That might be doing it a little bit of a down service, and no offense if you're an IT consultant, but it is people like DJ Khaled that are buying Lamborghinis. And if you're someone that wants a performance SUV without looking like some sort of blinged up rapper or drug dealer, then potentially this is a car for you because it's so much more dialed in, so much more precise. And I can't begin to tell you how fantastic the steering is on this car. From where I'm sitting, if I was to close my eyes, which is a terrible idea, never do that on the road, I would think I was in a 911. I really, really would, I'm not just saying that. It's incredible how this thing is just so disguised. Now there's no fooling anyone if you look closely. Carbon fiber roof, huge titanium exhaust tips at the back. And in fact, 
that entire exhaust system is titanium. Massive, absolutely gargantuan carbon ceramic brakes, front and rear, 315 section tires at the rear, 285 on the front. The whole thing is a beast, of course, not to mention those golden looking wheels at the side as well. There's no fooling anyone. This is though far less of an SUV and I guess a KN in my eyes than that first generation one we looked at because the ride in this thing, as you can see me being thrown around all over the space, it's very firm. And I suppose that's one of the ways in which they've achieved such fantastic dynamic capabilities. This is in the softest of settings right now. There's a lot of configurability, which is great, and we'll get onto that very shortly. But yeah, it's not, it's not, it's comfortable, but it's not the sort of car you'd drive along with, with one hand like this. Not that you should ever drive really like that, but maybe if you're cruising down the motorway, you do feel even then that you need to be both hands on the wheel at all times. So it's not the most relaxing of cars to drive. And if we put it into, let's say, individual or sports plus, here the valves open up a little bit there at the back and also it gets properly firm. I push it around a little bit. By the way, this is very fun to do and extremely impressive. I mean, it is point and shoot, which it just shouldn't be. But as you can see from my bobbly head, I'm not putting this on. The car throws you around all over the place. Now, if you are the devil and you want to take your kids to school, or more likely you're just a person with a nice dog and you want to go for a walk and it's quite a gravelly, stony, bumpy car park, well, this is an SUV and it still has all of those things that the original KN had in terms of adaptive and air suspension and different modes. Now, we can press off-road here, select what type of off-road we're on. We're currently on gravel, but I could select also mud, sand, or rocks. But once you do that, the air suspension raises at all four corners. And it's still a really, actually really capable off-road vehicle. And of course, I don't have time to really test it, but from going off the beaten track a little bit, it's very impressive. You, again, wouldn't, you wouldn't know that we just done 0 16 three seconds when you drive it off the road, because it does that so well. So on first impressions, it's mighty, mighty impressive. Now. Porsche haven't given me the keys to one of these because they think I'm gonna go and buy one. But to you guys, my viewers, who are largely, if you're like me, very much interested in those sort of older cars, those noughties cars that were once super expensive that have now become quite affordable, then this just offers a really interesting perspective on what 160 grand of the sort of equivalent thing gets you. Like essentially the car I'm driving right now is the car that I would be reviewing in 20 years time that you can now pick up for 10 grand. But of course, that's in 20 years time. I'm just doing it when it's new. But not only does this give me such an incredible perspective on what performance cars and the, the best technology is like today, it also, and it might surprise you, just gives me even more of an appreciation for the cars of old, the cars that they're not making anymore. They're naturally aspirated cars such as that first gen KN. Now, although this is stupendously fast and very responsive and the gearbox is really quick, it is nothing like a naturally aspirated car. There is still nothing like an engine and the throttle response you get from an engine that isn't turboed. So I'd thank Porsche so much for giving me the chance to experience this car because it just, yeah, makes me appreciate those older things even more. I'm actually not too far from home right now, so I think I've just there's something I've got to there's something I've I've got to do. Let's just let's just go and do that really quickly actually. Hi! Hi. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, it's huge. Wow. It's massive. You see the yellow bit? Yeah. That's the brake calipers. Is it supposed to look like a banana? I don't know. Porsche, is that supposed to look like a banana? It does look like a banana, doesn't it? Only you would notice that. <laughs> what is it? It's a Cayenne, but it's a turbo GT. Okay. Which means it's very normal, actually. It doesn't mean anything, really. But it's a Cayenne, so we, we, last week we went and drove that blue car. Oh, yeah. That was a Cayenne, as you know. I love how they do this, like, make all the carpet 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you need to go anywhere? Uh, yes, please. <laughs> Where do you need to go? <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> you want to go out in the car? Yeah, yeah, take me out. Does it have heated seats? Yes, would you like a heated seat? Yes, please. No, no, it's there. Does it have, it only has three? Yes. Oh, yeah. Mm. The f first KN had five. Five. And do you know what else what? I was saying earlier? What? The first KN also had five of what? No, no, because we just talked about that one, so it's something uh, else. Yeah. Five. Five. Sun visors. Because it had two on each side. Oh, I see. And then one there. Yeah. This only has two. It's literally just got... Oh, it doesn't have the one at the side as well. Rubbish. Oh. But yeah, well spotted. This only has three heated seats. Oh, yeah, seats. but it's already warm. Is it good? Yeah. This car's got a heads-up display. Oh, does it? Can you see? No, I can Come over see. here. Go on. I can't see. No, you still can't see it. Right, I'm just going to pull over here and wait for a quiet point on the road because it's something I want to show you. Okay. Right, it's all. This is all quite. I mean, it's quite comfortable. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, so it's a family car. This. Yeah. Four by four. Quite a practical car. But it has a red button of death, which is there, right? What's that? Is that an ejector seat for me? <laughs> no, unfortunately not. Hey! <laughs> now what this button does yeah. is changes this car into something quite terrifying. What? I don't like this. I'll show you. No! Yes. Is it dangerous? Massively dangerous. Should I be scared? Absolutely terrified. <laughs> no. You ready? No. <laughs> <laughs> Takes your breath away. That then. was insane. Oh my gosh, that was so fun. Can you do it again? Yeah. <laughs> what? fast that even I'm like shocked every time. <laughs> that is so uh, one more time? One more time. <laughs> again, 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 again. It's just, it's just lot, it's like so funny. <laughs> It's funny. It's funny. Because it's so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've dropped Katie off and that was absolutely hilarious. And now, sadly, I'm driving back to Porsche HQ in Reading go and give the keys back to this wonderful, wonderful car. Uh, needless to say, I've thoroughly enjoyed my time with this KN Turbo GT. Uh, it's it's unlike anything else I've ever driven. The closest thing probably, like a Alfa Stelvio QV, which is an absolutely unbelievable car, by the way. I really love that. But this is a definite step up from that. And when you could see the reactions on our faces, it's properly fast, this car, properly fast. And it really will throw some incredible shapes when you decide to chuck it into the corners too. It's a massively capable car and it's the sort of thing you're in the market for. I think this thing might be the daddy. But like I said earlier in the video, this only has reinforced my want and desire, not only to be back in a Porsche, but to be in my very first Porsche SUV, a Cayenne. And so I am looking for those actively at the moment and hopefully soon on the channel, we'll have one. Let's see. You can help out and expedite that process, guys, by giving this video a thumbs up so that it gets more views, more people see it, I make a little bit more money, and that goes straight into the pot towards the Cayenne. Secondly, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so that you know when the next videos come out and you can do the same thing, watch them, which, which really helps. Otherwise, I'd like to say huge thanks to Porsche GB for supplying me with this car. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. And, and also to you guys for watching the video. 
until next week then when we're going to be looking at actually more performance SUV related content. I'll see you all very, very soon.